The 2024 NFL Draft is wrapped up for the Atlanta Falcons, and a lot of people are saying that the Atlanta Falcons still have holes in their rosters, and they have a need going forward. And in this video, I'm going to tell you about Stephon Gilmore. Now, a lot of people in the Dallas Cowboy arena reporting media say that the that the thought of him returning to the Cowboys is not going to happen. They use the quote-unquote word, not imminent. Now, what Stephon Gilmore can mean for the Atlanta Falcons is not only he can be a pivotal piece in the starting lineup, but he can br bring that smartness and that savvy veteran presence to the Atlanta Falcons. And because of this, I say this would be a home run for the Atlanta Falcons. This will be a home run. For the Atlanta Falcons. Now, a lot of people, notably a lot of the Atlanta Falcons reporters, came out and said the Atlanta Falcons did not draft a cornerback in this draft. And Terry Fontenot and Raheem Morris, more more to Terry Fontenot's point, he said basically he did not want to reach for a corner. They felt that all the guys that were in the place for them to get draft, those were those, those cornerbacks or those safeties were reaches, and he was good with the roster that he had right now. Well, I'm telling you right now. If they can bring and sign Stefan Gilmore, that's all I'm saying. He is a guy that brings immediate need. He brings that immediate veteran savvy to the team right now. And he's a guy that people say you need on the roster. He fulfills the immediate need. A.J. Terrell, Stephon Gilmore. Stephon Gilmore has been playing in the league a long time, but it surprisingly has not lost that much of a step. And a lot of people say what he misses in athletic ability, he makes for in the mental game. He's very smart. He knows how to study the offensive plays and study the offensive opponent he's going against. And in, and in Dallas, he actually did pretty well. He had two interceptions last year, a lot of pass breakups. And he was really a sturdy piece to their DB core last year, and I think he can do the same for the Atlanta Falcons. So, Atlanta, you should be knocking down your door trying to get Stefan Gilmore in the building because if you're able to sign that guy, I think your chances of winning the Super Bowl go from 10 to 12%. I think he has that much of a tremendous value, not only in the immediate but he can also help groom up the guys that you have underneath him. He is also very versatile. He knows scheme and fit. And one thing that's kind of underrated about Stephon Gilmore, who did he recently play for? Dan Quinn. Dan Quinn was the DC in the Dallas Cowboys. Who did Raheem Morris coach underneath in the Atlanta Falcons? Dan Quinn. There are similarities, despite what you say. I know we're going from a different defense, but there's similarities in the defensive scheme that both of these guys run. And for them to get a guy who's a veteran presence and who can fit seamlessly, seamlessly into this defense is a win win. And also, he adds depth to the needs that you have on the roster. The Atlanta Falcons, if they sign Stephon Gilmore, which they should, that is what we need, and that will be a win, win, win going forward. <clears throat> now, if you enjoyed this video, please do me a favor. Hit the thumbs up, subscribe, and turn on post notifications. And if you want to see more videos, especially the video of how I felt about the Michael Penix trade and how I think he'll do going forward, pick, not trade, pick. Check this one out right here. And like always, fair.